UT the weight of their experiences leads them to retire and seek solace with their families. In this gripping true story, the brave men of the Annex risk their lives to defend their compound and protect their fellow Americans. Against all odds, they stand strong in the face of relentless attacks from militants in Benghazi. With their resilience and unwavering dedication, they demonstrate the resilience and strength of the human spirit. The movie ends with a shot of two stars on the wall of the CIA headquarter, a tribute to the fallen heroes Roan and Glenn, forever remembered for their courage and sacrifice. Prepare to be moved by this powerful story of courage, honor, and the price paid for freedom. This is Benghazi, the Annex Heroes. Welcome, movie audience, to a gripping tale based on true events, a story of bravery and sacrifice. Get ready to witness the harrowing events that unfolded on a fateful night in Benghazi, Libya. In a secret location known as the Annex A, team of dedicated CIA officers find themselves facing a grave decision. Despite knowing the risks, they refuse to send out reinforcements, fearing it would leave the Annex defenseless. But driven by a sense of duty, the team disregards their orders and embarks on a special mission. shocks them. Smith, one of their own, lies dead from smoke inhalation. As the team heads back to the annex, the militants, armed with RPGs and AKs, pursue them relentlessly. A fierce firefight ensues with the team, valiantly fighting back against the onslaught. Fearing the imminent danger, the CIA Officers desperately reach out for help, contacting officer based in Tripoli. Glenn Bub Doherty, a GRS, rallying his own team, Glenn rushes to Benghazi to join forces with the embattled Americans. With the militants closing in, the team continues to defend the annex there, determination unwavering. But tragedy strikes again as Rome is struck down, followed by the loss of Glenn. Jack, heartbroken, mourns his fallen comrade. As dawn breaks, the team finds themselves vulnerable, but hope arrives in the form of a convoy of Libyan army soldiers. Relief washes over them as they realize they are there to offer assistance, leading them to safety. Bodies of Ambassador Stephen Smith, Roan, and Glenn are recovered, reminding the team of the heavy toll they have paid. The chief reluctantly agrees to return home, leaving the team behind. In a final confrontation, Jack confronts the chief, holding him accountable for the lives lost. Before leaving, Jack reaches out to Becky, his voice breaking as he delivers the devastating news of Roan's death. Yet, the cost of the relentless attack becomes evident. In a poignant moment, he gazes at Roan's lifeless body one last time, paying his respects. In a private ceremony, the chief and the surviving members of Giaris receive medals, but the weight of their experiences leads them to retire and seek solace with their families. As the story comes to a close, the screen reveals the bitter aftermath. The sacrifices made that day were not in vain, as thousands of Libyan civilians gathered to mourn Ambassador Stevens' 